Good morning and welcome to Bordeaux. Yes, we've made it and right now we are in Place de la Victoire. We're going to see Bordeaux and you're invited to come along. Don't forget, subscribe, click that red button, click the bell icon. You don't want to miss anything. And um, one of the, this is going to be just kind of a snap judgment so far, but I'd say that Bordeaux has a much grittier feel to it than most of the places that we've ever been in France. So. Uh, doesn't make it bad, it's just, it's a, it has a different feeling to it. We're here fairly early on a Sunday morning, so uh, nobody's open yet, but this is a pedestrian only shopping street, which is pretty obvious. And garbage collection on Sunday, how about that? Down Rue de Grand Rabin Joseph Cohen is a synagogue, and on one of the walls is a memorial, a wall, wall of names of for martyrs from 1940 to 1944. difference a couple of hours makes and the rain makes this street of Rue St. Catherine really glimmer. Dead ahead is the gross cloche, a, the large bell, the building and everything. It's, this is quite an impressive sight. We're just wandering around Bordeaux this morning. Well, afternoon now. Stumbling across 
little streets you probably would never think about going down. You wouldn't seek them out anyway. And then at the end, there's this fabulous, another fabulous cathedral. I think this is Cathedral Saint Michel. <laughs> it's just, wow. it's just wow is right. Behind me is the Basilica of Saint Michel. It's a great little square, and uh, it's a more, I guess you'd say, ethnic area here. The mosque is just over there, a block away. It's really a, quite an interesting mix of, of cultures, just intermingling and getting along. It's really nice here. I like it a lot. And if there's a cathedral, there seems to be a, always be a little square with little shops and cafes. See the old guys sitting around chatting. Absolutely one of my favorite things here in Bordeaux are all the buildings with the wrought iron railings around the balconies. They're just splendid. We're strolling Pont de Pierre. And uh, it seems to be strictly pedestrian, bicycles, trams, and the occasional taxi, which is kind of nice. Don't have a huge amount of traffic noise. It's peaceful walking across the river. Garon. Day for just wandering. We're on the side of the river that's across from the main city. I don't know if that, what direction that is. Right now we're in uh, Parc de Parc au Angelique, and we're going to go across the street here, and we're going to go into Parc Botanique, and uh, we're hitting the parks today. Parks and gardens. We've been walking the along the river, on the side away from the main city, and I'm, we're going to save you from doing it. We have not enjoyed this much. This is where, I mean, the, all the construction is happening, new apartment blocks going on. It's the industrial side, I guess you'd say. So, eh, if this interests you, come over here. Otherwise, don't bother. <laughs> We're gonna, about to cross this fabulous bridge behind us. I can't pronounce the name, so I'm not even going to try. But it is unique. If you look closely in the towers, you'll notice that it's glass and closed, and there are spiral stairs going up and up and up. I don't have the legs for that. And if you look on the other tower in the middle, you'll notice the big, huge pulley system designed to raise the center span of this bridge. Lunch today. Great looking fries. 
A burger called Le Basque has red peppers, green peppers, tomato, cheese of some kind, and chorizo sauce, or I should say chorizo sauce, chorizo and some kind of sauce. Looks good, and Jody, I'd forgotten, she's got something that was called the Pro Provençal, and looks like green beans and fries and a, just a variety of things over there. It looks really, really appetizing. Time to dig in. to the expansive Jardin du Public, or Jardin Public, something along those lines. Very popular place, a lot of people here today. This is a Tuesday or a Wednesday, I've lost track of the days, but there's a lot of people enjoying the park, sitting in the shade, mostly because it's a pretty warm day.